Today, we're just outside of Monroeville, Pennsylvania, seeking out the filming locations for George Romero's horror classic, Dawn of the Dead. The first stop on our location tour is the house that's right behind me. In 1979, when George Romero made Dawn of the Dead, people here in Pittsburgh absolutely loved him. He was doing some good things, and he was very friendly. So when it came time to find people and props for his movies, people pretty much came out of the woodwork. In the movie, the main character is a flying helicopter that's low on fuel, and they head to an airfield, which, believe it or not, is on the other side of those trees. They fly towards the airfield, and in doing so, they fly over top of this road and in an aerial shot you can see military and cannons and rednecks all getting ready and at the bottom of this hill you'll see that red house that kind of looks like a barn jesus it's everywhere we're still pretty close to johnstown those rednecks are probably enjoying the whole thing. That hillside right there used to have a barn and a couple other buildings on top of it. And that's where the redneck party was and where they also shot some zombies that were getting too close. All in all, it's a great scene, but what I really love the most about it is those military personnel, those cannons, the trucks, those were all real. When I found that little tidbit of information, it made the movie Dawn of the Dead even a little bit more special to me. Growing up in Pittsburgh, always been a George Romero fan, but knowing that, of what people would do for him in his movies, it just shows how much this town loved George Romero. And in return, how much George Romero loved for this town. In the movie Dawn of the Dead, the main characters escape the city via a helicopter and they stop off at an airfield to fuel up. That airfield is abandoned and it's just on the outside of Monroeville. Pretty much the entire airport scene is filmed right here in this little corner. That building, the hangar that's in about the center of your screen, and right over this little corner where you see that light post, that's where the helicopter landed. And this is also where the helicopter zombie loses his head. He climbs on top of some crates the helicopter blades chop it off, some blood comes out, and he just falls. I also want to point out that in the scene where the helicopter zombie loses his head, you can see the top of some houses in the background which are just behind those trees. Believe it or not, that's where they filmed the opening to Creepshow. That's right, in that scene from Dawn of the Dead, in the background you can see the house where they filmed Creepshow, the opening. Pretty neat, right? If you're a fan of Dawn of the Dead, then this building right here probably 
looks familiar. It's inside that building where actor Ken Forhey, who played Peter, goes inside to investigate, ends up seeing two zombie children and shoots them. If I'm not mistaken, those kids were Tom Savini's kids. Let's see if we can line up the shot for whenever Peter comes out of this building. You never aim a gun at anyone, mister. Peter! They finally make it to the mall, which is where most of the filming took place for Dawn of the Dead. This is the Monroeville Mall. They land the helicopter on top of the roof and the movie gets crazy. What the hell is it? Looks like a shopping center, one of those big indoor malls. When Romero and crew were here filming Dawn of the Dead, they pretty much used the entire mall from top to bottom. They left no area unturned. Sadly, there's parts that we can't get into because they're off limits to regular people, so we're not gonna be showing you all of the filming locations. Instead, we picked out a few that we're gonna try to recreate. This is pretty awesome. One of the scenes that always stuck out to me from Dawn of the Dead happened right down here where these windows and doors are. Just on the other side of this glass, you saw the zombies roaming around trying to get in, but more importantly, it was over here where you saw the shirtless fat zombie bouncing up against the glass. These creatures cannot be considered human. They prey on humans. They do not prey on each other. That's the difference. They attack and they feed only on warm human flesh. A lot of the scenes in Dawn of the Dead where the zombies were on the escalator were on the escalator that's behind me. One of them stood out more than the rest. And now is the perfect time for some perfect paranormal acting. Ready? Here it comes. Back in the day, this area, which is now the food court, was the ice skating rink. Sadly, that's no more. Intelligence, seemingly little or no reasoning power, but basic skills remain a more remembered behaviors from... Uh... I kind of find it funny that the store right now is called Justice, but right here is where another famous kill happened, where Tom Savini killed the infamous machete zombie. And this door that's right behind it, right there, can be seen in this shot. That's the location. That's probably Tom Savini's view. Say goodbye, Chris. The fountain is no longer here, but where this playground now stands is where it once used to be. The bikers can be seen driving their motorcycles around it and around it and around it in the movie. And plus, the cast and crew of Dawn of the Dead took a picture just in front of the fountain wearing their Dawn of the Dead t-shirts. But to be honest, out of everything here, probably the coolest thing that they have now is this bust for the man himself, George Romero, right down where the clock tower once stood with a plaque that says George A. Romero, 1940 to 2017. The neighbors are scary enough when they're not dead. A quote. 
by George Romero. Near one of the entrances, they have a couple different photos and a plaque that says Monroeville Mall, home of the original Dawn of the Dead. And here is a screenshot from the movie and one of the pictures. Down here, right next to it, is a portrait of George Romero. And right above it, it has a caption that says, cast members from Dawn of the Dead, 1978. But correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the gentleman on the left is Dario Argento, and that's George Romero. Which is awesome, because both of them had a major, major, major hand and part in the creation of the Dawn of the Dead that we all know and love. That was just a small taste of the filming locations here at the Monroeville Mall. The filming locations for George Romero's Dawn of the Dead. Sadly, we couldn't show you everything. You have to be here for the Living Dead weekend to see all the little places that are hidden and what has changed and what it looks like behind the scenes. We gotta come back for that. Sadly, we missed it by a couple, by a couple weekends. If you do find yourself in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Stop and visit the Monroeville Mall and pay your respects to the original location, the location, George Romero's Dawn of the Dead. Wherever I come, I've been loved. It's come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that in state? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. 